Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Connecting with Augusta County Schools. This is Eric Bond. I proudly serve as Division Superintendent, and we're so excited on our podcast today to have our friends from Stewart's Draft High School to talk about the Cougar Crew program that they have here at Stewart's Draft High School. So I'd like to welcome Laura Gillespie, Isaac Martin, Dr. Nick Nickham, principal at Stewart's Draft High School, and Miss Ashley King, one of our wonderful guidance counselors here at Stewart's Draft High School. So good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Connecting with Augusta County Schools. Uh, we'll start with Miss King. Miss King, can you tell our listeners what the Cougar Crew is all about? So... Cougar Crew is a peer mentorship program. We have 11th and 12th grade peer leaders who serve as mentors for our entire freshman class. So all freshmen complete a questionnaire during their eighth grade year, and Cougar Crew leaders do that as well. Um, so that it might ask questions. Are you like an introvert? Are you an extrovert? What activities, what hobbies do you like? And then I spend time matching those freshmen to the leaders. So each leader has about five to seven freshman students that they work with throughout the entire year. And during our Cougar Crew time, we meet during Cougar Return, which is one of our remediation blocks. So all of our leaders, we have about 35 leaders this year. All of our leaders meet in the new gym and all of our freshmen come into the new gym. And we always start with a fun activity. So the past couple of months, we've done a rock, paper, scissors tournament. We played like a cup game. And then our leaders break into some different discussion topics related to time management, test taking strategies, thinking about student schedules for next year. And then if students have time at the end, they use that to build relationships with their students, continue playing small group games, those sorts of things. So, Dr. Nickel, tell us a little bit, what was the inspiration for this program? Um, the inspiration for this program came from, I did a school visit at Jefferson Forest High School several years ago. They had a program called the Senior Saber Program, and it was their, their senior leaders in the school building who met with the freshmen, kind of like what we're doing here at um, SDHS. And during that time, it was an inspirational story told by one of the seniors that a freshman student was going through some socio-emotional problems didn't feel comfortable speaking with an adult about it. So they went to their senior Sabre leader, which was a senior in high school, and said, hey, I'd like to talk to you about some things. Long story short, the, the ninth grade student got support from a counselor after going to that senior leader. So to me, the inspiration behind this program was I wanted students in this building to kind of take over their own school and be the student leaders and the student voices amongst each other and amongst the student body in the hallways because as adults, we can't be everywhere. And sometimes students want to build a relationship with a senior other than an adult. So that's kind of what brought the vision back to SDHS was developing student leaders and giving the, um, the freshman students another outlet instead of just adults within the school. And I had that vision and leaned heavily on Miss Ashley King brought the idea back to her. And after I brought the idea back to her, she took over and made this incredible program happen at SDHS. So the inspiration came from another school and Mrs. King has really followed through with that. Thank you, Dr. Nickham. Ms. King, why, why was this so important to you to help lead this, mentor this, or sponsor this program? Yeah, so similar to Dr. Nickham experiencing that at Jefferson Forest, I had had some previous school experiences um, that also had some peer mentorship programs. And so I saw how influential it was to have those student leaders as 11th and 12th graders really being there to support their ninth grade students. And so I was really excited about the opportunity to implement something like that here. And just like what Dr. Nickham was saying, you know, the ninth graders really learn to rely on their 11th and 12th grade leaders. And that's what we want. We want to create that sense of community and f make the ninth graders, I know 11th and 12th graders can seem scary to the ninth graders who are coming into high school. So we want to kind of bridge that gap. Yeah, to follow up with, with what Ms. King was, um, was talking about with the ninth grade students, I focus more of it as a student leadership opportunity, but then she took it as a new 
peer mentorship opportunity. And with that, it really gives the ninth grade students, like she said, a support system. And we feel very, very strongly at SDHS that building that peer mentorship program where ninth graders can speak freely to 12th grade students or 11th grade students, then more things will come from that conversation than sometimes be intimidated by an administrator or a teacher or a counselor. So when you're having the peer mentorship program like we're having here, then it allows more open flow conversations, um, which can help students. So what successes have you guys seen with the Cougar Crew program? So in terms of leadership, I have seen a lot of success. When we first started the program, I think we had 19 leaders who were a part of the program, and this year we have 35. So we're definitely expanding in the leadership. And I mean, this year with um, Laura and Isaac, who will be speaking, we have created a leadership team with the president and vice president, and they've really just taken that and run with it and have tried to make this program their own. And really, my goal is for this to be a student-led program. I want our leaders to feel like they have their hand in this. So I've seen over the few years that we've been doing this that just grow and grow more each year. And in terms of the freshman success, I have been able to see them connect with their leaders and be excited about coming to the Cougar Crew meetings each month. I've seen you know, some of those freshman students reach out through text or email to their peer leaders. And so that's been great to see that success. And also to kind of follow up with that with Ms. King, um, I think what's unique about our program as well is that the leaders, they don't just get to volunteer um, and they're not just picked out of a group. And we, we have interview processes for these students. So the students actually have to fill out an application and then administrators and counselors sit down, review the applications, and then we actually interview each student individually to see um, who's qualified for the position. So the two student leaders that we have here today, they weren't just uh, picked out of a hat. I mean, they earned that spot to be Kruger Crew leaders, and we take a lot of pride in that because we want the best of the best at SDHS representing the student body. Um, so that's another, I think, um, a way that this program separates itself from other programs across the state. Yes, and that also has been developed more and more over the last couple of years. Um, but in terms of training, last year we, so our process is we interview students in January, February, and then in March and April we're training the new leaders. And we had, I think, four Cougar return sessions last year where we come and we talk about student issues that could arise um, and what you need to do in certain situations, brainstorming, so getting student ideas on what games and activities we can use. Um, we get feedback from leaders and freshmen each year. So through training, we go through that feedback and we talk about what a leader is and what that looks like at Stuart Strapped High School. So in, in one word, how would you describe this program? It's hard to describe the program in one word. Um, I think there are two components to it. You have the leadership component and then you have your freshman component. And so Dr. Nickham and I were talking about this earlier, but um, leadership would be one big word um, that kind of encompasses, especially the Cougar Crew leaders and the leadership opportunities that come from being in this program. From the freshmen, we obviously want a number of those freshmen to become leaders. Like this is a way for them to see how they can be leaders in their school. And so leadership applies to them as well. Um, but for some who um, may not be looking for those opportunities, this program is a support for them. It's encouraging and it's um, supportive for those students. If we have to say one word, I would say successful. Uh, because of Miss King's um, hard work and dedication to this program and to the senior and junior student leaders that we have here today um, and all the ones who have came through the program in the past. They put a lot of effort and time into this, and they take it very seriously. Not only do the Cougar Crew leaders lead those large group sessions, but they're the first ones we call on for leadership opportunities within the school building. Freshman orientation night, we have the Cougar Crew leaders leading stations for that. Um, we have them volunteer, little things like painting the paws on the sidewalks. I mean, I go to my Cougar Crew leaders for all of those things around the school. So it's more than just a 
uh, Cougar Crew Group. They're also the leaders of the building who um, who are giving back to SDHS every day. So I thank you all for that. So we're very excited today to have two of our student leaders for the Cougar program. Uh, first, we have Isaac Martin, who currently serves as the president, and Laura Gillespie, who serves as the vice president. Isaac and Laura, why did you decide to be a mentor in this program? Um, personally, I decided to be a mentor is because the very first Cougar crew group we had was Laura and I's freshman year. And so that was cut short due to COVID. And so not having that full year, it definitely made me question what it is and how do I become those leaders that I was looking up to. So that's why I became a Cougar Crew leader. And adding on to that, Isaac and I are both part of our um, leadership committee. So we help plan things. We started that last year and it's really developed into like a president and a vice president position. So we have, it's really given us an opportunity to mold Cougar Crew into what we think would be helpful as students, since we were the first to go through it. So it has been really cool for us too. What impact has the program had on you as a mentor? Isaac and I have had a lot of good opportunities to talk with a lot of the other leaders. And a recurring theme I've heard is, you know, I've joined Cougar Crew to build my leadership skills. So a lot of mentors, I think, were heavily impacted on like the leadership side of it and growing their skills. Um, the impact that this has had on me is it allows me to remember how even though I've been in this school for about four years, going into something new can always be scary. No matter how long you've been there, it always helps me to remember that I was in their shoes once four years ago. And so Cougar Crew allows me to give them the advice that I've learned and how I can get through high school and how they can as well. So what do you guys want to do with your leadership skills uh, in the future? Having a group of people that you're leading and guiding, I mean, that's something you're always going to have to have in life. And, you know, having to step up and be that voice for people, especially because the freshmen are shy. They don't want to talk. You kind of it's uncomfortable. So you have to work through like uncomfortable times and really figure out how to lead a group of people. I think it's a really important skill. With leadership in the future, like Laura said, I feel like having someone who feels comfortable standing up and leading a group of people is always a good thing. I feel like not everyone feels like they can step up or feel like they should step up. So with these leadership um, skills that we've learned, we know that we can be the voice for the people who are too scared to do that, that we can step up knowing that we know what we can try and we can try to step up and be their voice. Especially after COVID, like our group was so impacted by COVID. A lot of us went back into our show and this has helped a lot of people to come back out of it and be like, hey, like, yeah, COVID, it happened, but we need to go back to how we were. Like, we need to step up. And Along with um, leadership, it also teaches us how to public speak in front of a bunch of people. And I feel like that's a skill that we will need to have throughout our entire lives. Especially since a lot of our high school was behind a screen. It's really helping people get the skills they need back. I do a lot of theater at the high school. And so I feel like with these leadership um, opportunities and this ability to public speak, it just strengthens that for me because the theater is a lot of public speaking and a lot of performing. And so I'm getting the opportunity to be a leader with Cougar Crew and be a leader on stage and learn how to feel comfortable in front of a crowd. So I want to go into ag. So constantly you're going to have to be talking to people. You're going to have to lead people. So I, I really feel like leadership is in every job at some point, really. Wow, thank you both so much for your incredible leadership. So what is your favorite part of Cougar Crew, Tom? Um, I really like the beginning when we do an activity because everybody always comes in. They're kind of uptight. You know, everybody doesn't know what to do with themselves. And then we open up and we play a game and they get so into it. Everybody's so competitive and it's just so cool to like see like literally the whole ninth grade class cheering for two people at the end of a rock, paper, scissors game because they're that competitive. It just brings everybody together. I personally like the small group discussions 
because I feel like that's when they truly ask their questions. And as leaders, we're excited to answer these questions that they are giving us. So that is my favorite part, just giving them the opportunity and the space to feel comfortable to ask these questions to people who have been here for four years and have an idea of what's going on. So what are some of the activities that you are looking forward uh, to doing this year with Cougar Crew? So like Ms. King said, we've done a rock, paper, scissor activity. We've done a, a cup game and we also give out prizes to the winner of those. So I know the past couple, past two times we've done it, they've gotten a huge bag of candy of assorted, of sorted chocolates. So they have that. Um, I'm looking forward to, at the end of the year, we always have this big relay race. And so it's whoever's group can win gets, last year it was an Amazon gift card. So it's that relay race really is a good way to close out the year and allows us to just have one big fun activity before at the end of it. So Isaac and Laura, what are some final thoughts uh, about Cougar Crew that you would like to share with our listeners today? I think it's just been cool watching Cougar Crew progress, being that we were the first group of freshmen to go through and now we're leading it. Like watching when we were freshmen, Miss King had the microphone. She was telling us everything. She was doing everything. And now we've really made an effort to make this student led and Isaac and I are president and vice president of something that was started our year. So it's been really cool to watch that. And I feel like this is the first year we've had a official president and vice president. So I think it's cool to see the progression of Cougar Crew, like Laura said. And also my hopes is to allow the path to be set for future Cougar Crew leaders, for future president and vice presidents to come in, have a plan and have their own twist on Cougar Crew. I feel like Laura and I started it and as we graduate this year, we're excited to see the juniors that are now stepping up to be seniors and those who are now president and vice president and see how they put their twist on it and see how Cougar Crew progresses through that. So again, I'd like to thank our very special guests for being with us today on this episode of Connecting with Augusta County Schools, Isaac and Laura, Dr. Nickel, Ms. King. Thank you so much for your respective leadership with this impressive program you have here, the Cougar Crew uh, at Stewart's Shaft High School. You're to be commended for your leadership with this program and the success that you've had so far and and ultimately what you're doing for your students here at Stewart's Shaft. So thank you for being a guest with us on Connecting with Augusta County Schools. Thanks again to all of our listeners for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest episodes. Our episodes can always be found on Augusta County Schools' Facebook page and website.